Simon Estes, an octave above the rest. George Vesky wrote the newspaper article, Opera's answer to the slam dunk, Simon Estes gives 110%, just as he did in basketball, in 1985. Vesky incorporated ethos, pathos, and logos into this piece in order to attract the attention of and gain the trust of his readers. Simon Estes grew up in 1938 in a small town in Iowa called Centerville. His father worked as a coal miner and was the son of a slave. His mother worked at home and was the one who often encouraged him to pursue music. And at the age of eight, he started singing at the Second Baptist Church. In 1957, Estes attended the University of Iowa. He wanted to become a doctor and majored in pre-med and psychology. He later joined the university's old gold singers who performed for the first time in 1957, and to this day continue to share their love of music, theater, and dance with the Iowa City community. It was the old gold singers that connected Estes with his faculty member, Charles Kellis. Kellis would become his lifelong voice teacher and steered him towards singing classical music. Eventually, Estes would go on to spend a year at the prestigious Juilliard School of Music in New York City. And soon, in 1965, he made his opera debut in Germany. It was only a year later, and Estes won a bronze medal in the prestigious Tchaikovsky competition in Moscow. Estes ultimately found most of his success in Europe where crowds and audiences were more open to a black man singing opera. His race made it more difficult for him to gain entry into certain roles, but once he was inside, he would always prove those who had discriminated against him wrong. Despite breaking down many barriers, Estes is still the only black male singer doing leading roles in opera houses around the world. Vesky, as well as Estes, was aware of the racial prejudice present in the 1980s, and therefore Vesky uses a commonplace in the title of his article to attract readers. Vesky's commonplace is a reference to the common stereotype about African Americans, that they are good at basketball. Realizing this commonplace gives Vesky the power of logos, as well as ethos, as readers now see him as sharing their opinion. Again, this builds his logos and his ethos through decorum. Although Estes has had a few setbacks throughout his career, he has ultimately found amazing success as an opera singer. He is internationally renowned and has sung in prestigious opera companies such as the Metropolitan Opera, the Lyric Opera of Chicago, Toronto Symphony Orchestra, and many more.